And so I asked Dr. Sharon George, a researcher at the Kiel's Institute for Sustainable Futures, to identify the connection between climate change and Madagascar's worst drought in 40 years and whether this is a trend we're likely to see on the continent. What we're seeing globally is we've been seeing an upward trend of more droughts, more extremes and weather, more fires, um, more flooding. And what we've seen in Madagascar over the, we've, we've, we've seen unprecedented drought. We've seen pressure on agriculture to an extent that we've not seen for the last 40 years. This is putting a massive strain on food production. And currently the country is in crisis because of this. We're seeing people at risk of uh, malnourishment and um, an increasing amount of people at risk of starvation because of this. And this isn't just limited to Madagascar. We're seeing this across Africa. And um, what's different about this is that this is driven by climate change. But how do you explain that Madagascar has one of the lowest greenhouse gas emissions globally. And yet it is bearing the brunt of climate change. Well, this is the thing with, with um, climate change. Climate change does not respect borders. And unfortunately, some of the richest nations in the world are producing the most CO2. And this CO2 goes into the atmosphere. And unfortunately, it's affecting some of the people with the least ability to protect themselves from this. So we've seen this around the world. We're seeing low-lying coastal regions being hit by storms and flooding and affecting agriculture. We're seeing wildfires taking out agriculture. We're seeing droughts. We're seeing flooding. We're, we're just having this pressure. And, and it's being seen across the world, and it's particularly affecting those people with the least amount of power and, and with the least amount of of money to put in measures to mitigate against these effects. And, um, and in some cases, the, the, you know, they're not heard, their voice isn't heard around the world. So those nations that have the biggest power to impact their future are just un, may, you know, maybe unaware, especially the public who have no connection with this invisible gas that they produce when they cook, when they travel, and, and when they consume to impact across the other side of the globe where it's affecting people's ability to even fundamentally feed themselves. Well, since climate change does not respect borders and the carbon emissions in one part of the world could have an impact on another part of the world that has done nothing to deserve it, are we likely to see a similar scenario, this climate change induced famine and drought in other parts of Africa? Unfortunately, this is something that's not limited to Madagascar. We are going to see, and we have been seeing challenges right across Africa. We've seen unprecedented floods in places like Nigeria. We've seen um, droughts and wildfires raging in Africa. And not just in Africa, we're seeing similar pictures, you know, right around the world where conditions are changed dramatically. And this is not a one-off event. This is something that's good. This pressure is going to ramp up and ramp up because climate change gases are not they're not falling off, they're not, they're not even stabilising, they're still rising. And the climate change targets that the world are talking about are not about you know, preventing rise, they're about keeping a rise within a certain, a certain trajectory. So, but we need to do more than that. The, you know, we, we can't keep behaving the way we are in the, uh, and consuming the way that we do and ignore the impact that we have um, across the world. And one of the things that, that we, we definitely make this worse with is when we export our problems. So we can be very smug you know, about what our climate change targets when we're importing food that's been grown in, in other parts of the world. And what we're essentially doing is importing water. Dr. Sharon George, senior lecturer and researcher at the Kiel's Institute for Sustainable Futures. That's Africa Matters. It was very kind of you to join us, and I'll see you next week.